So I'm like my dad. I buy strange gifts for my wife for um, Valentine's Day and our anniversary. So my dad bought my mama a utility trailer for the anniversary one year. I bought my wife some chainsaws. Oh, hey, check this out. I found this out. Look. It's magnetic. It sticks to me. Isn't that handy? Slice. I like it. Every, it still surprises me even to this day. We had it for what? Almost five years now, I think. Ah. So this is... This is not a... I guess good brand that you would say in the US. Um, this is the Holes Forma for the working man. I hardly work, so I don't know if I deserve this saw. But um, yeah, it's from China. Uh, when I was do taking uh, allergy shots uh, years ago, I was reading books on economics and what it says is to buy the highest quality, like when you need to buy an item, buy the highest quality of that item that you can. And so I did that once for the chainsaw. I have the, the steel MS-260 CM. That's my high quality one. I can't justify having two more of that kind of quality, you know, in my budget. So this is, what I have to get. I can't, like, I can't justify the steel, the Husqvarna, the Echo, or any of these other brands. You know, they're just too expensive. And, oh my goodness, I smell the china coming out the box. There's so much tape on it. I don't want to cut. cut. There we go. God, you smell it? I don't know if this is one or two, because you know. Ooh, I like that packaging. Man, that's that's that'd be good for some hard drives. I might keep that. Okay, let's open it up. There's a box in a box. Ooh, they got a lot of this good stuff. Yeah, some of this stuff. Man, this is better than the U-line stuff that we normally get. I think this is the small. Yep. So, this is one of two that I ordered. So, the this chainsaw I have now, it is like a medium, I call that a medium sized chainsaw. It could do most of the work that I need to do on our property. Um, and I can use it in a pinch to do small work or a little bit bigger task if I need it to. It has the power to do whatever with an 18 inch bar. And I can maybe upgrade to a 20. Some people say a 24 if needed. Oh, this is awesome. We got another piece of thing. So this is the the G111. This is the um, the steel two, 200T knockoff. So this is a I mean, they pretty much copied it exactly. You know, oh wow, it even has tools. Oh, it actually comes with spikes. I've had to put on the spikes before we do anything. But yeah, it has the necessary tools to work on it, you know? What? That's nice. Cut this. Oh, it's out of here. That's what I got in this box. Um, so it's the top handle, so I can run it like this. It smells like it. it. Smells like it has some fuel in it. Like they tested it. Oh, it has the little ring on it, so I can hang it. Like if I'm climbing a tree. We got this big box in here. Um, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna slowly turn this over.
not, and I like the blue of this, you know? It's a nice blue color. And it's not too much blue. I thought it was gonna be a lot more blue than that. At least the way it shows in the pictures online, it shows more blue. Alright. Get that out the way. Sit on my little bitty chair. And this is the Holtz Warmer G660. This is the uh, the 660 clone. And but I upgraded to the pro version of this. So this comes with the because I'm gonna be using this for milling lumber. And so this this is going to need a little be a little bit more reliable than that. And so I got it with like the upgraded this the pro version it comes with an upgraded uh, cylinder um, uh, cylinder like like the cylinder piston rings the uh, carburetor and I think the um, what you call it the uh, like the oil pump is different I think and the carburetor is different it has a like a hard poly carburetor and it was only like $60 different than the um, than the uh, what you call it than the um, than the regular version. So I'm like, I'm just gonna get the high quality version, you know. Yeah, so this is the other side plate. This is what is metal? It has this rubber flap in it. I wonder if that comes out. Kind of cheesy. But yeah, it has this ugly looking carbon fiber pattern on it. That's been like. Uh, what you call it, where they dip the, dip the uh, part into the paint. Another, oh, I like this, it's an actual back with a zipper. Fold out stuff. Got the gloves, the scrunch, the screwdriver for adjusting your carburetor. Another little bolts and stuff. Oh, good. Like that. And these jugs, these are for like your, like this is for like your gas and this is for your bar, bar oil. So I like, I like the little jugs. I don't know if I'm gonna use them, but I have them. Um, this is the, I opted to get the full wrap bar cause I will be, and I'm also gonna use this for bucking logs. So it's nice to be able to grab the chainsaw from either side, you know, so. Yeah, so it has the wall bar carburetor, the uh, piston made in Italy, the ring piston rings made in Italy, cylinders made in Italy. It has the NGK spark plug, the larger sprocket cover, which is this, wrap around handlebar, and the stronger handle grip. I guess that one's made of plastic or something. This feels pretty sturdy. G660 Pro. Why isn't there any instructions for this one? This out. Oh, yeah. This is it. <laughs> this thing is silly. Okay. Oh my goodness. Look at this handle. <laughs> I'm talking about this to start it. That's serious. <laughs> this handle's so giant. This is a diesel engine. No, it's a two cycle engine. Uh, that's so giant. Yeah. Is that bit inside? Huh? Is that bit inside, Daddy? No, not really. The difference. What? Look. What? Daddy, what? I'm gonna run the you learn your ABCs? Oh, wow. Okay. I need to do all my old ABC. I kind of like the skid plate. I think it's kind of like an optional thing. I have to have it. 
it fits up just nice. Give you us a T27 tip, but your hand slides off this super easy. You need a real T-handle. This I bought these years ago from Sears because I was on like this Craftsman kick for some reason. But I don't know. I never did like Craftsman tools. They broke too often. But they did have a nice replacement policy. You just bring the broken tool to their store and they'll replace it, which is nice. But I don't have time to go to their store every time. So I bought, I started buying cobalt tools, which you get at Lowe's. And uh, those just seem to last. I never broke one yet. It is left-handed. Not a strong left-handed, so. And I like that they have the, these are the older style gas caps. And so it just, yeah, it looks like they had some little bit of Chinese. This, oh, this didn't even stick in there good. Yeah, so I could smell the, their old, their uh, fill. I guess they, they must have uh, ran it just to, just to see it run for a few seconds. Okay, I guess I bought it now, cut the tags off. Oh, certificate, QC passed. That's nice. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a big mamma jamma. So these are the are the felling dogs, and so one goes right here. The one, another one goes like on the cover. Does it go right here? Does it line up? Oh, it looks like it lines up. So the, these things, these spikes, these are called felling dogs. And you really don't need them for felling. I use them for bucking too. But there's another screw hole right there. Okay, that's perfect. Um, I use them for bucking them and it's used as a pivot for when you are cutting wood. So I can, I can stab the wood with this and I use it as a pivot for the whole saw and just pivot the saw down. And it hold, it makes it to where it holds on really well with um, on everything, so. Uh, kinda like that. Has bars on both sides I can put in my lap. I don't know how, the, how strong these are too, but um, hopefully they're strong enough to do what I need it to do. But it's the right size. For, for this one, for the 660, I ordered it without the bar. It didn't have an option for a bar. Um, and I didn't order a bar from them. I would, I, I would want a, I think I would want a higher quality bar coming from like either steel or Oregon or one of those, you know. Um, the so this one didn't come up with a bar but this one i thought i ordered it with a 12 inch bar i thought it came with a 12 inch bar but i don't see a 12 inch bar anywhere on here so i need to call them up and find out where that bar went okay that's that one that's that one and then we got this one this goes right here. Okay. That's there, it goes there. And then this goes there. You see this piece stays on here. So that's that's your uh keeps your chain from coming all the way off if it if it were to uh come off the, the bar, which is known to happen. Can't did it happen to me one time, so now this is just a cover, just an extra large cover. And I have two bolts. They are not um, captive by any means. Oh, okay. I saw that part. Hold on. I saw where that went. There we go. I like that. 
feels heavy duty. Now, I guess I need to um, I'm just gonna put these finger tight. Now it looks more like a chainsaw. I just don't like this stupid handle right here. This is nuts. How big that is. Look at this pull handle. I mean, really? <laughs> Dang. Yeah. That's the bar for the big chainsaw. I didn't want to order anything until after I knew that it, it was, uh, that the chainsaw was working. This is my wood saber. I don't have a lightsaber, I have a wood saber. But the chain isn't in yet. But I do have the chain, hold on, I'll be right back. And then this is the chain for the small chainsaw. 200T clone. Yeah. Yep, so just a 14 inch chain. It should probably fit around here too. Yeah, sorry, but this is, you know, it still has the same uh, curve. Okay. So the parts for my chainsaw are coming in a little bit at a time. Got this new little knife at, uh, what you call it? Tractor yeah. supply. Yeah. A tanto. Blade. I never had a tempo blade. Yeah. Huh. I don't know if I like it. Makes me look like I don't know how to use a knife. <laughs> there we go. Oregon Advance Cut yeah. bar. So now I have the chain and the bar for the small. So, oh. yeah, so it's the bar, 14 inch bar for my. A uh, small chainsaw. My my uncle said, "Hey, you gotta." And I knew this, but hey, you have to flip the bar over every once in a while. But like when you have the bar the right way up, you see the all the name brand and all the logo stuff right way up. But if you turn it upside down the other way to use this as the bottom, then everything's upside down, and that would drive me nuts. I know, like for these bars, since they're more expensive than the one on the little tiny electric chainsaw. I'll probably flip these over. I might get some acetone or something and rub off the, the marking so I don't see it. I might just write it in a marker or something, you know, that way I can wipe it off and put it the right way, you know? But um, yeah, so I'll put this on later today and check it out. But now I get to bring the tiny chainsaw with this to the hideaway. On Sunday. On Sunday when we go, that way, uh, that way we'll, I'll get to play around with that. Oh, I wish I had the chain for the big one. Yeah. That way I can, cause this, this, uh, I mean, it's only four inches shorter, but it's gonna be a lot lighter of a saw. I mean, if you picked up that, that little chainsaw, it's super light. Um, so this will be good for like taking the limbs off all those trees uh, that fell 